Oh my god, bro. Hello, welcome back to Scratch 3D Rating. I'm your host. As you know, my room, I have a limited room. Um, one thing that might be a major problem in the future is this door hinges. Uh, I've been going through Reddit and stuff like that, seeing so many um, glass broken because of the door cannot open further than this and they accidentally hit it and then just crash. So what I'm gonna do today is I'm gonna print some hinges so that the door can open 270 degrees, which is like this one. This one on um, printables, it's made from Eric Felicano, I think that's how you pronounce it. He didn't make it. He did a remix of the model. The original guy is this guy, Derek Darrow. He's the original guy. He made it for the K1, and then this Eric guy made for the K1 Max 270 door hinge. So I'm gonna be downloading this. I will leave a link down below if you're interested in this modification too and prevent your glass door from breaking. So I'm gonna be printing this and then I'll be putting onto my door hinges here. I'll be using Polymaker. First time using Polymaker, I don't know if their stuff is good. People say that Polymaker has made really good filaments so I bought myself some Polymaker. This product is from Polymaker. This piece is ASA. It's Polylight ASA, weather resistant, which is very nice. Planning on using this to do some other project too. Yeah, but if you want to see those projects, subscribe to the channel and let's get on to this thing. Printing speed 30 to 50. I'll be printing using 100 millimeters per second because this cable max can do it. Printing temperature 240 to 260. Bed temperature 75 to 95, which is very high. Fan off. Oh, okay. I never, I, I did not know that. There are some teeny tiny particle white particle that's their galaxy so i hope it turns out really shiny and really sparkly stuff like that that's what i was hoping for okay it's done printing look at this this filament looks so gorgeous to be really honest let's take this out here are all the pieces as you can see there's like very bad string in there because that's the point where it keeps moving back and forth but let's pop it Oh yeah. Oh crap. Let's do it this way. It's like cracking your back. Okay, I think we can take it off now. There we go. First time I printed, I did not put glue on there. So as you can see, the darker spot or glue. I didn't put glue, so it didn't stick that well. After I apply glue on it, it sticks really well on it. Got, the, the, got that part, got this part all the parts okay before we get into the installation i just want to tell you that oh my gosh dude this filament looks really beautiful you barely see the layer lines anywhere because of the white dot i bought myself some screw these are m2 m3 m4 m5 m6 12.9 grain alloy steel hex button socket has screw bolt nuts it has a screw it has a bolt it has the nut the lock washer and some allen wrenches if you are interested in this package or these heat insert package i will leave link in the description down below so you can check these out for yourself if you want them i highly suggest you get some of these for 3d printing because they are highly highly valuable and it's pretty cheap for what you get this is over a thousand items and it's only 20 dollars this is like 415 and it's only 20 dollars too so Check the link down below if you are interested in these M2, 3, 4, 5, and 6. 415 piece. I believe you are supposed to put it like this and then heat press it so that this thing goes down into your parts. So I'm gonna do that now. Okay, I got my welding tool here. Um, this thing heats up very hot. I gotta be very careful. And my thingy here fell off, so I don't know what the temperature is, but. I kind of remember what the temperature is. So what you need for this project is 4 and 3 heat insert. Here is all the screws that we needed. I put them on the paper towel because these are kind of greasy. I don't want them to be on my mat. For this project to work, we need 2 and 3 8 millimeter, 5 and 3 12 millimeter, 2 and 3 16 millimeter, and 2 and 3 45 millimeters. You can go up to 50 if you want. This is the first time doing it. 
and then you press it down with something that's very hot like this. Don't burn your hand though. I guess you just do it from the top like this and then the heat will transfer slowly downward. It's the first time doing it. Yep, it's going down. And a little bit more. Don't burn your hand. I think that is good. Oops. Hold it firmly and then just push it down with this heat. Let the heat transfer. Oh, that is hot. <laughs> Don't do that. That seems decent. First time doing it. There we go. I did it. So I got the heat insert into these two pieces. This is the top arm. The top arm has a smaller loop here. The bottom arm has a longer thingy. So if you compare the both, this is the top arm. This is the bottom arm. This is the bottom bracket. This is the top bracket. To tell the difference, um, you look at this. It has a dent here. This one doesn't have any dents. Top, bottom. Then this is the door holder. And these two are the one that attach to the glass. Okay, I kind of run into a problem because I have this door slider up here. And this piece is supposed to attach like this. But as you can see here, it's making contact with this. There's a screw underneath here, so I need to remove this. Oh, okay, I got it off. It took lots and lots of effort. These are sticking so well to this. Oh my gosh. I can mount this to this. As you can see there, that's the hole that I'm supposed to mount the screw in. So in order to get these two to attach together, it goes like this. Then you put the long screw through this hole. Make sure it's all lined up. There we go. And now this thing can spin freely. You can tight this thing a little bit. So I was about to put heated insert in here, but I don't think it's necessary. I think that is going to be good enough because you can't really take it out. It's really stuck in there. So that is very nice. Let's do the same for the bottom one. Okay, it looks like for this bottom piece, the screw is at the bottom. I'm not quite sure why they did it that way. So I guess for this one, we got to do it this way now instead of going from the top. We got to go from the bottom. I Hopefully it's um, secure. <laughs> So let's find the hole. Come on, where's the hole? Okay, one way you can do it is put it flat like this. So put it like this, and then you insert it, and it's a lot easier to do. And I guess I'll just tighten this up a little bit so that it never comes out because you don't want your glass to break, right? You don't want to pull an Uncle Jesse. When I did my research, I thought ASA was a material that is very stiff, very strong, but I feel like PLA Plus is stronger than ASA, but that's not the point in this video. The point in this video is to install this. Let's go on to the next step. Okay, now we will uninstall this glass panel here. So now let's unscrew these. Hold the glass. Oh my gosh, bro. Holy crap, I almost dropped it. I did not know it was just gonna come out that easily. Okay, this thing is still in there, so. Wow, it's just light and light that. Man, if I'm not careful, I could have break it. There are two screws back there. Take those off and you can pop this out. Or you can just do that. Never mind. You don't even need to do that. These are kind of magnetic. What? You can feel them that they have some kind of... At the front here, it's like a coating there. You can see that there's a coating. That's there to protect this thing from scratching the glass or anything. Damage to the glass. To install it, you need to take up this screw, this screw, on the bottom, that one, and that one. Okay, these are such a small screw. These are very, very tiny. I think there's just like four millimeter. Okay, got this piece off. I'm gonna put it on there, and then we'll attach both of them together. I think you should do it this way too, because this is this is gonna be so much easier. That is so little dirt coming out. Oh boy, okay, got it. I decided to use a 20 millimeter instead of 16 because it was not cutting it. 
but I did not push it that far so I don't think it's making contact with anything. Okay, it's time to get this bottom one installed. This bottom one actually come out more. So hopefully this one is a little bit easier. Okay, so for whatever reason this uh, modification is so it doesn't have enough thread to even go in here. This one is the only one that's holding it. So I'm just gonna use a 20 more and that screw all the way in. Yeah, I feel like a 20 is a little bit too much, but it has to be 20. I'd rather have something holding than nothing holding it and something happening, right? That's perfect. There's like some uh, white metal of this inside of it protecting it. Okay, now it's time to put the whole thing in with these two screws. Okay, line it up. Got it. Okay, got one part in. So I'll try installing from the top here instead of going from the bottom because I can't do that anymore. There we freaking go. We finally got it. Oh my gosh. Just gonna screw these bolts in to make it very tight. Oh, but now we can open the door so much. I gotta be careful though. Oh my gosh, that is so nice though. <laughs> I feel so accomplished now. The last thing to do is to install this, which is at the very back. So I'm gonna go there. M3, 8 millimeter. So let's do it. Put it there and screw. There we go. We don't need to tighten it that much. I'm gonna check the inside. Open the door and see how this works. Is it just gonna catch it? Ah, it's just catching it. Perfect, it just catch it. We don't need to touch it. Okay, so that's that's how they work. So if you just push the door here, it's gonna catch it like that. And it has this hinge right there. That's kinda flexible, which is very nice. So if you just need to kinda slam the door, it's gonna catch it. It doesn't come back anymore. I think if you do it very hard, which you don't want to, it's gonna bounce and come off. But mostly people just do that. And it's just gonna stick which is very nice this modification is amazing hopefully it does not come off <laughs> okay there we go we have done the 270 degrees door hinge oh gosh that's scary okay open the door keep opening it oh, it's stuck amazing love it i don't feel any contact with the belt or down here i think this one goes into the motherboard and stuff like that but i think it's totally fine this this one yeah that's perfect okay so install this onto the glass this onto the glass then put this onto the printer and then use this screw to attach everything in and that last that's the way to do it if you try to put everything with the glass and then mount it like i did that's not the way to do it but i'm gonna make this video very short very nice for you it's like a tutorial or something but yeah well that is it with this video it took me two days and about one hour to install this because I don't know the process. They don't really tell you how to install it step by step. And I hope I can edit this video good enough so that you can do it step by step and make it easy for you. If you are interested in anything that is in this video, everything is in the description down below. But thank you so much for watching and I'll see you on the next 3D printing. Keep on printing.